In this video, we're going to look at reference formulas. And also, we're going to look at how to compute a percentage change comparing year to year. We're going to begin by opening up our file again. And the name of our file is called Chapter 1 Practice. Okay. The file contains two sheets, Chapter 1, which has information here. And the second sheet is called Reference Formula. We're going to begin by going to the sheet called Reference Formula. And we're going to go to cell B4. What we want to do here is we want to retrieve the information from the Chapter 1 sheet that has the sales, the 2016 sales, for each of our 21 restaurants. So once again, we're looking for the 2016 sales that's contained in the Chapter 1 sheet, the total sales. This is for the year. We want to take that information and bring it over to this sheet right here. And how we're going to go about doing that is by using a reference formula. The key point here is that a reference formula is a formula. And like all formulas, it begins with an equal sign. Equal. The information that we want to retrieve is in the Chapter 1 sheet. So we're going to click on Chapter 1. We're going to click in the cell that contains our information. Our formula bar is telling us now that right now this formula is based upon information in the Chapter 1 sheet in cell F4. We can either hit Enter or click the check mark. which brings us back into our reference formula sheet. The $400 is now appearing, but more importantly, when we look at that cell in a formula, it's saying that it's based upon the information in the Chapter 1 sheet in cell F4. We can now go to our fill handle we have our plus, hold down our left mouse, drag it down, and copy that information here. Next, we're going to forecast our 2017 sales. And how we're going to do that is we're going to take our 2016 sales for the 21 restaurants, and we're going to assume that those sales are going to grow by 10%. The value right here in cell I1. So once again, we know what our 2016 sales are, and we're assuming that they're going to grow by 10%. That's how we're going to calculate our 2017 sales. Once again, it's a formula. We're going to come in here into C4, equal sign. This first value in B4 multiplied by the quantity. So we're going to open parenthesis. 1 plus the rate of change is right here in I1. But we're always going to be looking at the rate of change in this location in I1. So as a result, we need to make it an absolute. F4, we've made it into an absolute. Close parenthesis. Check mark. So again, what our formula is showing is B4 multiplied by the quantity 1 plus the value in I1. Looks fine. 
go to our fill handle and copy that information down. Let's change the formatting, make it into accounting format. And next, we're going to go into cell D4. Now, we already know what the rate of change was, but in many instances, we're asked to calculate what the change is from year to year. How we do that? Equal sign. First step, open parenthesis. The information or sales in C4, which is 2017 sales, minus the 2016 sales, which is B4, close parenthesis, divided by, again, C4, less B4, divided by B4, which is the base year. Check mark. Let's change this into percentages. Go to our fill handle and drag it down. We'll center it. Thank you.